In this video, we're going to take a look at the paintbrush tool and the blob brush tool in Adobe Illustrator 2020. Um, I'm going to start by pulling out the drawer that has the paintbrush tool, which I think a lot of people are familiar with, and its cousin, the blob brush tool. Um, the paintbrush tool allows you to click and drag, and Illustrator will follow whatever path you make and create a path. Um, frequently people use it to color in areas. Uh, it can be used for painting and painting type techniques. This is turning into a little something here. Um, and many times people are confused by the difference between the paintbrush tool and the blob brush tool because when I use the blob brush tool it looks like it does the same thing. So when I paint my little scary little um, whatever this is, dog, weird abstract face, put some strange little eyeball, little nose piece here. This is not really a dog, I'm just literally scribbling. Um, they look the same. This one's a little thicker, but it's only a little thicker because I increased the tip size. You can do that with the square bracket keys. Uh, the key that will increase the size of your brush or decrease the size of your brush and that works the same in both the paintbrush and the blob brush. Now the real difference between these is visible when we look at this page in outline mode rather than preview mode. There are two ways to get to outline mode. Um, the first is under the view menu, uh, the, we choose the option outline. The other is to use the hotkeys, control Y or command Y are the hotkey to access outline mode. It's just a toggle, control Y turns it on, control Y turns it off. Command Y turns it on, command Y turns it off. And this is where we can start to see the real difference between the blob brush and the um, paintbrush. So the blob brush creates filled shapes, compound paths that are full of color, even though it uses the stroke color to do that, whereas the um, paintbrush creates a path that then has a stroke or a st an appearance applied to it. I'm going to go ahead and go back to Command Y, and, or Command Y to go back to our preview mode. And let's look at some of the options with the paint brushes. So each of these strokes that we can, um, we have lots of different paint brushes in Illustrator. Remember, anytime you have the little library books, that means there's a whole list of other brushes, um, borders and dots and dashes and all kinds of things. We can apply those when we're using the paintbrush. We cannot apply that. Well, if we apply those to something that we've painted with the blob brush, it outlines the path. And so in the case where what we have done is made a shape, a squiggly scribble with the blob brush that's actually a filled shape, the blob brush will fill, or the, the any of the paint brushes in Illustrator will trace the outside of those. Whereas if we've made that with the paintbrush tool, um, we actually get a solid, or it, it becomes the line itself. Um, so that is the difference between the paintbrush tool and the blob brush tool. If you are filling something in, if you are trying to create a filled area or you need to make a shape that's a little bit wonky and, and not perfect, so often the shape tools are great for that, for making regular shapes, but if I want something more natural, the blob brush tool is going to be my choice there. And unlike when I try and do that with the paintbrush tool, with the blob brush tool I can get a nice clean filled outline and not have lots and lots of paths to work with.